My Minecraft world is a bit lame, and I want to build stupefying projects, but they require a lot of resources. But it's fine, I've got as much as I could ever want, right? I am very, very broke. If only there was an insane project that would solve these issues. Oh, wait, there is. I'm going to build a giant working nuclear power plant. Out of these four biomes, where would you build it? Because personally, the coral reef does have a high potential of destruction, and it also looks cool. Anyways, first I'll need to mark out the giant perimeter for the toxic gas. And voila, we've got a perfect oval. And that's where the reactors are gonna go. Not only will I be building the reactor, but also insane automatic farms inside. Now, using lime and green stained glass, I'm gonna grade the toxic biome inward. After countless hours of preparation, the labor can actually start. I have to drain this entire thing. That's giving me some bad flashbacks. The first of many steps in this entire process is to cover the entire base layer. Unfortunately, the coral is in my way. I'm sorry. But the process must go on until I have the most overpowered nuclear reactor in the whole of Minecraft. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That few second clip was ten hours of me placing sand, placing sponges, building fire machines, removing the fire machines, removing the sponges, removing the sand, and repeat. Eventually, I finished. Yeah, I finished raining. Woo. Oh, please subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be much appreciated. This is what the project looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. A lot of progress, but we're nowhere near finished. This was awful. And the worst part is that that wasn't even the worst part. I really started to question whether this huge time investment would be worth it. I guess we'll find that out when I'm finished. Why am I building so many buckets, you may think? Well, I'm gonna be performing a heist, and that's gonna be a lava heist. Yep, I just need to collect some of this orange stuff. Now we'll have to place this lava all over the floor. And that's me completely out of lava. I thought that was a bigger area than it actually is. That will take me ages. Back to the nether we go. Slowly and steadily, I crawled my way through this task. And the last spot. Oh, I'm finished. Now, this is what I am left with. A lava mess that looks like a failed emoji face. But no worries, because we're going to change that very quickly. Well, at least for you. For me, it's going to take a long time. I'll need to fill this entire thing with eight layers of glass. We're talking tens of thousands of glass items. And how on earth am I supposed to gather that much? It all starts off with the sand duper. And there we go. I've just filled up ten shulker boxes with sand. And I have a feeling that won't be anywhere near enough. But now I have to smelt that sand in order to get glass. And let's get going. I'm just filling in this transparent void of emotion. I've just run out of glass. And I've also run out of green dye. I honestly cannot wait till all of this is finished because then we get to test out all the farms working at once using my very unique sorting system. I am literally drained of every resource possible. I don't even have enough bones for white dye. In total, I have to AFK for around 15 hours. I really got to thoroughly think about my life. I'm a loser. Final product is literally gonna look 10 times better than this. But I feel like before I finish all of the glass layers, this needs a little bit more spice. And I could use the thing behind me blackstone for my build i'm gonna scatter some blackstone spikes throughout the gas out of the way i can get on with doing my favorite job ever placing glass <laughs> oh this is my last layer <laughs> yes oh this took so long after an entire week of placing glass the work finally paid off but now we move on to the more interesting part of the video building the nuclear reactors first of all i'm gonna need my beacon but where is it? No, 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 no. Well, it's not here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. Well, that didn't go to plan. But the beacon isn't here either. My elytra is also waiting to break. This should completely heal it. Yep, there we go. Great, so now I don't have a totem, don't have a beacon, and I don't know what I'm doing. Those things are essential for what I'm away to build. Villager outpost spotted. How's it going? I am looking for your boss. <gasps> yes, found him. Let's go to a village now. Wait, what? it's here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I totally forgot. I was getting wood there. That's nice. Now I'm going to make my way to Lord Leonard's village. Anyways, I've just figured out exactly what I'm doing. I need to dig down. Let's get to mining. Nice. Yes. Minecraft. Good. I'm gonna need a ridiculous amount of stone for the nuclear reactors. And that's why I spent a couple of hours just clearing out the ground. And Enderman just vandalized my project. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I found him. So let's get started with building the first reactor. Give me the stone and I need to convert it into stone bricks. First of all, let's make a base layer of two blocks from nether bricks or blackstone bricks, whatever they're called. This will take a while. That's done. And we can finally move on to the more tedious part, placing some bricks. All right, back to my favorite task in Minecraft, placing a bunch of circles. Yeah. All right, that's the base belt. Just need to do this a bazillion more times. I was minding my own business, placing blocks, and look what I found. It's a skeleton horse. They would fit perfectly in this toxic biome. 
No! I was away to say how fitting it would be to have skeleton horses roaming about, but there's only two now. Yeah, feel free to just do your thing. Now back to building the first reactor. Things were really starting to take shape. I took a lot of inspiration for the initial design from this user on Planet Minecraft. It's a very circular building, and I'm going with the theme of stone bricks and blackstone. And for the moment of truth, this is what it looks like. An amazing, exquisite, and excruciating build. I don't know what that meant. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Just... Now that we've got the reactor built, it's time to start building farms. I'll start with the easier ones and make my way up the harder ones. First, a sugarcane farm. Right, so I'm gonna need a lot of blackstone and also need to repair my light trust, so I'm sorry, mate. There is one way I could get a lot of blackstone, but it's relatively risky, and that's to destroy this bastion. I survived, guys. I'm gonna need a lot of pistons and a lot of observers. And I've and already, I've already run, out run out materials. materials. Alright, let me go and collect some cobblestone. Alright, that'll do. Alright, let's get started then. This, this reactor's reactor looking, looking empty, empty here. I don't know why I did that accent. This is a very simple and efficient farm, but most importantly, it looks hella cool. Now, when the sugar king grows, you may be wondering what the heck is gonna happen to it. And that's a very good question that I do have the answer to. And is going to look absolutely insane. This is going to be the outline of something very special. So I might as well just fill this in. Hey, Coral Reef, you're in the way. I apologize, we have to go. This looks kind of lame now, so let me add some texture here. This is a giant nuclear rod that all the items are gonna go into, and trust me, you're gonna see how this all looks when it's all finished. I just know that there's an insanely easy way of doing this, but I'm just dumb. And I can't do it. Now, I'm away to build one of the many, many pipes that are going to be connected to this rod. So, this is the initial design that I'm going to be going with. Just white glass and blackstone. I do not want these signs showing. This looks much better. And then I just extend this. I need to make this thing go up now. I'm going to use a special thing called soul sand. And I'm pretty sure you know what it does. <laughs> Now I need to make a water elevator, so let's put the water down here, and then use kelp to convert it all into water blocks. Now let's test this entire system up, and hopefully we're gonna see the stair go all the way up. I don't see it. Yeah, it's stuck. That's a problem. Apparently I need packed ice. And I need to put it below the sign. If I put a stair here, I better expect it to go all the way up. Yes, yes, yes. Common scuff you doubly. <laughs> that is one sugarcane farm completely finished and connected. I want to build two more. I tried to disperse them quite equally, such as putting them at different heights. And of course, attaching the pipes. With the sugarcane farms completely finished, let's move on to some more interesting farms. Guys, we have a small issue. I literally won't have enough resources to finish this project. So I'm gonna collect 1,000 different ores with my silk touch pickaxe. And then I put them on one giant cube and see how many ores I get. And so this is the 1,000 ores that I've collected. Let's see how much materials I could get. Hopefully after this, I'll have enough resources to finish the project. The final result of all of this is that I'm not broke now. Hooray! Next, I'm gonna build a cobblestone generator. So I'll need some cobblestone probably. <laughs> I'm gonna build it near the top because I don't want it to blow up anything around it. That would not be fun. Actually, let me quickly make a renewable water source. There we go. I'll need some here. Now I'll have to waterlog everything. It's redstone time. A repeater. And I'm pretty sure all of these have to be a four tick. Then one sticky piston goes here. Ah, uh, that pushed me off. Bad piston. Blech. TNT, please don't blow up. Okay, okay. Uh, that should be the farm finished, actually. Now, when I press this lever, there should be cobblestone coming out of here. And nothing be destroyed. So... Guys, I think it works. It works, but it looks very ugly. <laughs> Let's fix this up a bit. I feel like I'm obligated to only use one design here. It's a cobblestone cube. This is art and you can't tell me anything else. It is a little bit dark, but wait, I've got an idea. And that's this thing. I've got no clue what it's called. Can I mine it with a silkless pickaxe? Uh, clearly not. I think I need shears for that. All right, there should be plenty of this stuff somewhere here. Okay, yeah, let's get collecting, right? Wait, this is just taking way too long. I think there might be a way to grow this. If I place it here and I bone meal it. Hey, yeah, there's actual block. And let's put it in the cube now. Whoa, why was that burning? Right, I just need to connect this with a pipe now. All right, so that is all connected. And let's activate this. We should see cobblestone flowing through here. And there it is. All right, it is time to move on to the wood farm, which is going to be built right over here. I hope there is enough space here. <laughs> yeah, I should have probably done that before. Up until this point, everything seemed to go pretty smooth, but that did not last for very long. I have encountered my first issue with this build. I need honey blocks and I have none. Honey block farm it is. Now I'm gonna build it on the nether roof because that way the bees can't sleep. So they work 24 seven. That's right, I'm getting the most out of my workers. They got no time to rest. 
with the frame of the farm finished, you may notice I'm missing bees. I need to go bee hunting. Bee nests most commonly spawn in the flower biome, and they sleep at night. Therefore, I can collect them. I'll need eight full bee nests in total. But as far as I know, all of these bee nests have to be completely full. So this one is full because it has three bees. That one is also full. All of them seem to be full. Oh, no, not this one. Because there's only two in here, I can breed these bees. And now they should make a little baby. Hey, and we've got a little bee. And we have to wait for this guy to grow. There is no bees in this one. That's interesting. That one is not full. Neither is this one. I'm basically gonna have to breed them until there's bees in all of the beehives. It is now nighttime, which means I can collect all the bees next. And now we can finish building the farm. Nice. And that should be it. The farm should work. Guys, I think I annoyed them a little bit. Anyways, I get these honey bottles, which then I can turn into honey blocks. I am now back with my honey blocks. Oh, bouncy. Oh, so honey's sticky. Uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to place these blocks? Nice. Then I have to put fences all over. Never mind, they're called gates. And the exact same on this side. That's genuinely my new favorite block. And after some redstone, I was nearly finished. Uh, something works. I think it's time to build the TNT duper. Now I've built this immovable platform because you can't move glazed terracotta pistons. Detector rail, minecart, and more redstone. I think this is where the bone meal goes. I am going to fire this machine up and I am hoping that this is done correctly because if it ain't, let's give this a try. And it's broken. What am I seeing here, man? That is not supposed to be here. Right, let's give this another try and see if it works. Surprisingly, it doesn't. It took me an entire evening to figure out what was wrong with it. I've legit spent three hours trying to fix it. Turns out I placed one block wrong. We got over two stacks of wood for just a minute of AFK. I need to decorate this and build a pipe. So I've added the pipe, but I'm kind of scared that the TNT will blow it up. <laughs> let's do a quick test. Nothing blows up. Now, if everything works, there should be a ton of wood at the bottom. Yay, it works, guys. It all works. The last thing you need to do in this reactor is to add a light source. I can sneak some glowstone into the tubes without it actually being noticeable. Yeah, we've done it. Now I need to build an automatic sorter for all the items to go into. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this very uh, unique design. Oh my gosh, the nuclear radiation really is turning fish into horses. Wow. Now we do this. These are gonna be the pillars that are gonna support everything. That looks cool. Now some more depth. Absolutely beautiful. No one can tell me otherwise. This basically looks like an alien ship, but I kind of like that. The floor was made of glass. I'm onto something here. That's the initial design of the storage room. First, let's build the automatic sorting system. Hoppers in here. I think we won't have enough space. Unless... I put the chest forward one block. Torches. Repeaters. All oh, this has got to be rest. Then some comparators. Even more hoppers going into the comparators. I've got a named item here. This chest will be for oak logs. And it should stop at 40 to 1. And it does. This works. More chests. That's me finished. I just need to add all the items that I want to go into each specific chest. Also, I need to create a way for them to get from the nuclear reactor to the storage system. And I'll simply do that with water streams. And now, all the items fall down there. Along these water streams. I'm getting attacked by falling sand. We have broken through. By the way, if I screw this up, uh, I am like, this is like goodbye. Close to finishing, guys. Everything will go up through here. There's no way anything can be flooded here. Oh my god, I just flooded it. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. What's the damage? What's the damage? Oh my, oh my gosh. Just why? I have to redo everything. This isn't scripted, by the way. So everything up here is finished. As soon as I place this water, everything should be connected and working. I am literally just gonna sit here and wait. Oh, oh, yes. This is where the shuriken should be in. <gasps> And if I throw something in there that shouldn't be there, I'm gonna throw my chest plate. That's how much I trust this. If this doesn't work, then I'm very much screwed. But okay, it should end up in this chest right over here. Wait, it's over here. Why is it not working though? I am pretty certain I fixed it. And I'm gonna test this on my favorite pickaxe this time. Ah, yes, it's there. Well, you went on a little journey. Before we make the second nuclear reactor, I'm gonna need to breed villagers since they're part of my plan. Who 
shall volunteer. I'll just take you, thank you very much. Through Savannah, through the nether, and through the canyon. Welcome to your temporary home. I bought a second villager in, and now we can start breeding. I think someone might have cheated in this relationship. Nevertheless, let's get working on the second nuclear reactor. And this one is going to be strictly dedicated for an iron farm. That's the nuclear reactor done. And that's the inside build. This is where the golems are going to die. Now, there will be lava here, but I'll do that last. Now, I gotta go 20 blocks up and pray that the golems won't start spawning on the actual reactor. Because that would make this whole thing be worthless. <laughs> yep, this is where the first farm is gonna go. Now, thinking about it, this should be a little bit longer. Okay, that is much better. Let's build the iron farm. There was supposed to be a cool time lapse, but my replay mode crashed. So, before we get this finished, I'll need to put three villagers to here and one zombie into here. So, I'm gonna build some rails from my villagers towards that power plant. Okay, guys, I'm gonna need one of you, but can I trust you? That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Now you're trapped. <laughs> okay, let's not fall off here now. No, 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 no. You're gonna go in here, my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got you. Right, I need two more. <laughs> and that's gonna be the last one. Perfect. I need to find a zombie now. It is also night, which is very convenient because I could collect the zombie. But wait, I need a name tag first. Ah, there we go. I've got a name tag. Oh, two reserved. Perfect. Timmy. Got a zombie. I found one. Yo, zombie. Follow me. No, 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 no. You're stupid. You're so dumb. Yes, go on here. Why are you- <laughs> This is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Yes, 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 yes. Follow me. Follow me, man. No! How are you so dumb? Oh, now he's following, so he doesn't like the rails. Go inside, go inside! No, 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 he did not go in where I wanted him to go. So he's there, and he's supposed to be there. Yo, dog, yes, 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 yes. No! Give me a second. I got the zombie in, and look who's just spawned. It's an iron golem. That's a dub. Yep, the bugger's in. Now, we need to extract the iron from him. Sorry, man. It's your destiny. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want him to kill the zombie. Yeah, let's keep him like this for now. I need to add the lava and do the sorting system. So that's the lava. And this dropper is going to send all the iron from the hoppers into the water streams. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Okay, it is time to activate the farm. And there we go. That was not supposed to happen. A moment of truth. Does this work? Wait, why? Wait, what? Uh, that should still work, though. Iron golem gonna fall down oh my the farm is working guys the farm is working yeah there's a lot of iron golems here <laughs> i just need to make the lava area bigger give me more hoppers i need hoppers quick or else there's gonna be a large buildup of iron golems uh is will that work i don't know probably not maybe though would you look at that it works i'll quickly build another villager module and i'll be back for some reason this just looks extremely epic iron golem that's done that's this iron reactor completely finished All right uh now i need to remove this right now here's another one we are entering the most crucial part of this video, tying it all together and making the most powerful nuclear reactor in the history of Minecraft. Our first mission is to get mossy cobblestone for the nuclear sign. And there's quite a lot of it in the taiga biome, so I went over there and collected a bunch of it. So the sign is going to go on top of the storage system. However, I did actually need to collect some yellow and black concrete. And I actually ended up really loving the design that I chose. It's very clean and simple. The problem is that the sign looks very flat from the side, so I'm going to extend these blocks outwards. Oh, and I also think that the floor in the storage system would actually look better when it's red. I can't wait to do the final test when all of the farms are working at once. And oh boy, we get a lot of materials. Safe to say I won't be needing any more ever again. Let me tell you guys how much stuff we get, but first, you have to see this montage. Safe to say in our hearts, it's the best nuclear power plant in Minecraft. And it is an absolutely beautiful sight. Seeing all the farms working in unity, providing me materials. Oh, be sure to subscribe and YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video next. So go watch it. Thank you for making it to the end. You're the real one.